how you all doing? Welcome to this light text tutorial. So, um, which is top left hand screen, top left hand side of the screen. Sorry, um, light text. It's been doing updates just recently, and um, and the app is getting better. Obviously, in light is still my go to image editing or mobile image editing, but light text is getting there. So I'm going to show you a really simple but cool tutorial that you can do on um, on light text today. So a color splash tutorial. And so I'm just going to go ahead and open light text, and I've just selected the image I want by going to album and then um, more photos and just select the image. Now I'll just give you a quick rundown in case you haven't seen my um, my breakdown tutorial of Litex that I did quite a while back um, before it got a little bit better with updates. Top left hand side is open, obviously you just open a, an image file there. The next is a little disk, it speaks for itself, you just save it um, or save your progress on the image that you're currently working on. The next one is just share and here you've got a few um, a few options you can um, save it low, medium, or high resolution um, to the following platforms Facebook, Insta, Mail, Twitter, um, and other messaging services, um, including WhatsApp. And the three little buttons is just where you um, you click more and you can save it, save the image, um, or assign it a contact or or um, or airdrop it, whatever you want to do with that image. So I'll close that down, um, and then we have the settings on the right hand side, and this will just tell you about tutorials, um, or if you have any issues with the app, you can um, you can rate the app or write to them and, um, and see if they um, will fix the problem that you may have found. So um, the way we get our tools bar up is this little um, pencil in the bottom right hand side of our screen. Um, so I'm going to click that and then we've got filters artistic selfie so the selfie mode you can just um, if I selected it you could just go ahead and um, and sort of auto your, and sharpen your selfies out brush your teeth whiten your teeth remove spots sort your hair out stretch the um, image so you um, don't look as wide and all that sort of stuff um, and the other stuff speaks for itself cut out objects and, and blend modes color mix and color splash which is what we'll work with um, in a second and we have selective where you can select the tools brush vignette um, refine so sort of shape the tools and then we have curl curves and, and levels color levels and balancing and then we can um, have tools at the bottom where we can transform and adjust add text and um, and do um, sort of um, and focus pull and focus I'm going to show you a different way now to blur the background, which, um, which is a little bit easier. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and select Splash here. Now, what we do with the Splash, um, we're just going to run our finger around the outside of the area that we want to stay normal. So the outer of this person is what the, the area where we want to blur. So I'm just going to run my finger along and you'll notice I get this window in my top left hand screen, but that will move depending on where my finger is. And that just gives you a zoomed in image. Now I am, I do look as though I'm doing this carefully and slowly, but you don't have to, I can sort of rush and there's the, the window moved. I can rush it and just go around the outside um, and that will apply an effect to the background of the area. But you will notice if I zoom in here between his legs, we've not got the same effect. Um, let me um, let me just show you something quickly. I'm gonna go to shades and then I'm gonna go to black and white and you will then see the areas of the image that have not been, or the background of the image, that have not had this um, effect applied to it. And here's one. So the way we um, the way we do that is you just select our brush on the right hand side, then we click select and our little brush becomes active. Now again, I don't have to be careful, I could just make a, um, a quick um, dash in the image like that. And now I'm gonna be a little bit more careful, I'm just gonna tap the area that I want to fill and tap the area again. Um, you notice that's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna select the brush, select a raise, and then just run my finger a little bit by that area and it will just erase the areas that have, um, that have been selected by mistake. So this area in here, I'm gonna tap the, um, the little brush, blue, and I'm just gonna draw a line down there. And you notice it will it's on his jacket as well. So I'm gonna click the erase button and just rub my finger down that area and, um, and that removes the part from the jacket. Again, select my brush. And I'm just gonna do this rough so I purposely go over the line like so you notice the black areas on the jacket so I'm going to go press my brush go to a raise 
wipe over these um, darker areas or the black areas that I've done by mistake. So you don't even have to do it too near to them and it will um, and it will remove them. So the selection part on it is quite big, it's quite good, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna do this part by his hand. Um, and you notice I didn't do anything too quickly on that little black part of his hand removed. So that's where I do that. And then I just undo because I per um, accidentally um, smudged that area. So. Now, all I'm gonna do is blur the background. The way I'm gonna do that is by choosing, you can choose paint and then choose your um, choose your presets here. And if you want to increase or decrease the type of effect that's on the background, just press and select that, um, that little color swatch and we can increase, decrease that like so. I'm just gonna click the cross button because I want to actually apply an effect. Um, got this emboss, quite nice. Um, sketch motion which is quite cool the only thing with the motion if i'm going to recolor something later you notice these areas here where the motion are you'll see his jacket's blue and shortly i'm going to i'm going to recolor his jacket if i then recolor his jacket red it will leave the outer motion part blue so um so just be aware of that one so i'm just going to select the blur i'm going to press the, the the blur button to um to increase the blur on the image of the background on the image now there is another way with the fade that we could do this um with the focus sorry in the tools that we can do this where you would um you would use um, a mask and you would you would go around with your fingers and just apply that mask but this is just another way of doing it so i'm happy with the um the blurred effect behind what i'm not happy with really is this these darker areas in the middle but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna go with them. See what happens. Um, let, maybe just decrease the blur a little bit. Just see where we go. No, it's gonna stay there. Okay. So click the tick button. Then click the little tick button top right hand side to accept those changes. And I don't like this bit. It takes you right back to your tools. But I want to see the image. I want to see the um, the effect that I've just applied. If I don't like it, I just click um, undo the bot in the the bottom but one left hand side and if i want to see what the image was like before i applied the effect i'll click the bottom left hand corner on the button and it will show me what the image was like so let me go back to my tools by clicking the pencil and then i'm going to go to splash again and i'm just going to select this area here not carefully just really roughly on his jacket and i want to select another area um incidentally if say for instance we zoom in or apply an effect this little brush will become unselected. So if I zoom in, the brush will be unselected, but remember I've not selected the right-hand side of his jacket. And if I zoom out, it will um, reselect the brush for me, so that's quite cool. Um, and then I'm just gonna um, apply that on his jacket there. And I'm gonna go to, go to color, and I'm gonna press and hold the color. And I want this jacket to be like a red color. So I'm gonna go um, my hue down to the left slightly, and then my saturation, which should bring the red out and um, we can just mess with the hue again just to try and bring that red and make it jacket a little bit redder and then brighten it up a little bit and then go for like a pinky color um, and this jacket looks quite cool like this but what i want to do i want to apply the effect to his belt as well so you notice my brush is still selected because it's blue on the right hand side now very i'm not going to even do this carefully i'm just going to um, run my finger along that belt and it will recolor the belt for me as well. So that's really cool. When I'm happy with that effect, I'm gonna click the cross. I don't like this either, so I'm sort of, it goes against what you do in end light. And I'm gonna select the cross and then select the tick button. And like I said, it just goes back to the tools, quite annoying that, um, but I want to see the image, what it was like and what it's like now. And yeah, that's quite cool. Now we're just going to apply a simple filter and that's our image finished. Really quick tutorial, like I said. I'm going to click the little pencil down the right hand side to get our tools, select filters. And there's different ways that you can, you know, different um, filters on the bottom. You can see I've got my daily, I've got paper filter, um, vintage filters, retro filters. Like you can apply, um, you can apply one filter, then go back and apply another one after you've applied it. So, um, and then you just select the filters um, by their category. So I'm gonna go back to daily and I'm just gonna um, select this Lomo. And I quite like this filter. I think it's a really nice effect. I'm gonna select the tick button there. It goes back to the tools, annoying. Um, and then it goes to tutorial just for the, just for a laugh. 
Um, so quite happy with that low mole, must have pressed one of the tools by mistake. Um, and this is how the image started and this is what we look like now. Completely different but really quick effect. I suppose what you could do maybe is a um, is apply um, apply another another filter to that if you, if you wanted to. Um, I don't think I would. I think it looks okay as it is. I suppose if I was going to apply any sort of filter, I would just apply a um, a light a light slip maybe in the retro would look quite cool. So yeah, look quite cool as well. Click the little tick button. Uh, go back to my image and that's the way the image is so I'm just gonna click the um, the share button there I'm gonna go to more and just save that image to my um, to my camera roll when I go into my camera roll that's where that image will be this is Litex. I'll do a few more um, tutorials with this because the app is getting much better thanks a lot for watching and I'll, um, I'll catch you all very soon